Assalamu alaikum. I'm just packing some cookies for my neighbors. Did you know that the Holy Prophet وسلم, gracefully accepted gifts and would always return them with even better ones? I'm going to go drop these off to my neighbors. Hello. Hi. Um, uh, we were just making some cookies and we were just giving them out to our neighbors and we wanted to give them some more. Oh, thank you. No problem. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Have a great day. Doing good deeds really does make me feel good. My name is Arslan Ahmed Fayaz and I'm your host for Little Legends, a trivia game show for kids by kids. We wanted to see if kids like me and you from across Canada were able to take on brain-bending trivia. So we gathered up some very smart kids and we'll be testing their knowledge on various topics. I'll be joined by my co-host, Barira Qureshi. Barira? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Barira and I am so excited to be here. We will be talking about many things, exploring, discovering, and learning together. I hope you are as thrilled as I am. Let me introduce you to today's contestants. We have Team 1, Masrur and Danya. We have Team 2, Madia and Abir. And we have Team 3, Hiba and Alicia. Good luck! That's right, let's go meet our contestants. Come on, follow me. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni ilma, why to get to know Allah? Allah has shown us brightness, the Quran is filled with guidance, science and faith go hand in hand, see the beauty in God's land, why to get to know Allah? Start by saying Bismillah, you'll succeed inshallah. Sharing knowledge is the key, here's a test for you and me. Try to get to know Allah. Assalamu alaikum to our Little Legends contestants. And welcome. How are you? Are you excited? Yes. 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 Amazing. So am I. Okay, so let's dive right in. I will explain the rules. So in this game, there will be four different rounds, and each round will have three questions. All the questions are up for grabs. You just need to be the first to buzz in order to answer it. Once I ask the question and you get it right, you will get 10 points. But if you get it wrong, the other two teams will get a chance to answer to get half of the points. That is five points. If no one gets the answer right, there are no points even, and we move on to the next question you will only have one chance to answer. <clears throat> In the end, there will be a challenge worth extra points. The winner will be those with the highest score. They will then move on to the semifinals. Remember, the point of the game isn't to win, but to gain knowledge and... Have fun! Okay, okay, let's begin with Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. yes! Our first round is called, I'm a Muslim. Question 1. As Muslims, we can call Allah with 99 different names or attributes. What is the Arabic name for Allah that means the praiseworthy? <clears throat> Team 3, Hiba and Alicia. Uh, Al Majid. Not quite, but that's okay. I'm going to open this question for the other two teams. Team two, Ma uh, Abir and Madia. Al Hamid. Wonderful! You got the right answer. I am so thankful for everything Allah has given us. I'm thankful for a lot of things, especially my family. Let's see what some other kids are thankful for. I am thankful for my family and friends. 
I thank Ayo for giving us what we need, food. The blessings from above are my parents and being able to travel. I am blessed because of my toys. I like them all. I am blessed that my parents can play with me because they're young. It's time I come everyone. I'm going to give me some food and I'm going to my Emmy and Apple, Junior Chicken and Hatsune, Dollar Star, Ice Cream, Dinosaur, and Jessica Lee. I'm grateful for MTA because during lockdown, it was not really fun in the house. But then I started watching Hazor's Quick Buzz, Hazor and Jen's Saz and Programs. And they came up with kids shows like Kids Space, Destination Next. And I'm also grateful for this, my stuffy. Her name is Toasty. My sister, my mom, my dad, my brother. I am thankful for everything Allah Ta'ala has given to me, especially Ahmadiyat and Khilaf. I have so many blessings. My house, my parents, my video games, my friends and family, and my food. One of my biggest blessings from Allah Ta'ala is family and food. The best blessing in our life from Allah Ta'ala has to be our um, wonderful Jamaat and our and the guidance from our beloved Hazur e Anwar, L like listening to his khutbahs on every Friday and writing letters to him. The biggest blessing in my life is Allah Ta'ala. He creates all blessings for us, like family, food, and shelter. We can all show our thanks to Allah by saying Alhamdulillah, which means all praise belongs to Allah. That's right, Barira. I'm thankful for a lot of things that I can't even name them all. Something I especially learned during the time of this pandemic is that I'm thankful for a healthy life that Allah has given me and my family. The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, There are two blessings from Allah which many people are careless about. The first is health and the second is time. Okay, question two. There is a prayer we are taught, which is Allahumma sajadalaka ruhi wa jasadi wa janani. When is this prayer read and what is the translation? Um, it's read during sajda talavat and the translation is Oh my Lord, my spirit, my body and my heart prostrate before you. Amazing! You got both of them! Question 3. The Holy Prophet ﷺ and Hazrat Khadija Anha had four daughters together. Two of their daughters' names were Hazrat Zainab Anha and Hazrat Fatima Anha. What, the what were the names of the other two daughters? Team three, Hiba and Alicia. Um, their daughters, their other two daughters' names were Hazrat Umi Khazum Raisala Anha and Hazrat Jukaya Raisala Anha. Wonderful! That's the answer I was looking for. Did you know the four daughters of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all accepted Islam, but unfortunately they didn't live very long. Only Hazrat Fatima Raziyalatala Anha lived after the passing of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and lived for about six months after he died. Arsalan, do you know what Khalifa of Islam Hazrat Fatima Raziyalatala Anha was married to? Yes, Burira, it was the fourth Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Ali Raziyalatala Anha, and they had two sons. Uh, who were named Hazrat Hassan Razia Anho and Hazrat Hussein Razia Anho. Our second round is called Aapko Urdu Aati Hai? Question 1. 
How would you say this in Urdu? A white bird. Team one, Masrur and Danya. Um. I'll now open the buzzer for the other two teams as I did not get an answer in time. Team two, Madia and Abir. Achiria. Well, the whole answer I was looking for was Exafed Chiria or Exafed Parinda, but you gave me a partial answer. So good job. You get three points since you were the second team to buzz and you got it partially right. Do you know what this baby animal grows up to become? Hint, it's Safed. Oh, uh, I know Burita. I think it grows up to be a duck. Um, close, but think a little longer. Hmm. An egg? No, Arsalan, that doesn't even make sense. Hmm. No, no, it's a swan. It's a swan. Hunts is the Urdu word for swan. Okay, question two. What is this animal in English? A morgi. Team one, Masur and Danya. Is it a hen? Amazing, you got the correct answer. A morgi is a female chicken, while a morga is a male chicken, and an anda is an egg. <laughs> Arsalan, you're cracking up. <laughs> Again, like an egg. Get it? <laughs> okay, next question. Question three. This question is sort of like a riddle. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam loved eating this with kajur. It's a fruit that has three colors, green, white, and red. What is it in Urdu? Tabuz. Dear and Madia. Tabuz. Uh, I didn't get that. Tabuz. Tarbuz? Yeah. That's correct. Wonderful. You got the correct answer. Yum. I love to eat watermelon, especially in the summertime. And I also love dates, too. But I didn't know that the Holy Prophet وسلم, would eat watermelon with dates as well. That's really interesting. Yes, Barira. There, that's something I learned as well. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said that since date, dates have a heating effect, it's good to eat it with tarbuz, watermelon, which has a cooling effect. Well, looks like I found my new favorite combination, kajur and tarbuz. Okay, moving on to our next round. Our third <laughs> round is called Smile. It's Sunnah. Question one. As Muslims, we're encouraged to give gifts since it was a Sunnah of our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He never refused these two things. What are they? Team one, Mr. Nandanya. Human milk? You got it. That's the right answer. I love that gift giving is sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I love it when I receive a gift, but giving gifts is even more special. And the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us to give even better gifts than the ones that we received. Hazur, may Allah be his helper once in the family mulukat also gives you gifts as well when you get a chance to meet him. When we were in the Mulakat, he gave us two types of chocolates and a pen. The chocolates were really good. Amazing, Burita. I was gifted a pen and chocolate from Hazur, may Allah be his helper. 
I love that I received a pen because I can use it to write letters to him. Okay, question two. What is a miswak used for and who recommended it? Uh, who recommended its use for Muslims? Does anyone want to take a guess? Well, here's a hint. Um, it has something to do with cleanliness. Team one, Masur and Danya. Um, is Miss Walker object? Yes. Oh. Um, I don't know. Team two, Abir and Madia. Is it a toothbrush? Who recommended it? Uh, who recommended its use for the Muslims? The Holy Prophet. No. The Holy Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yes, it is like a toothbrush, and it is a tool that the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, used to clean his teeth. Miswaks are like ancient toothbrushes made from a tree branch that people still use today. And if you didn't already, brush and floss your teeth at least twice a day. Here's something to encourage you. The Holy Prophet وسلم, said that he would make sure his followers would brush their teeth at least five times a day if he didn't think it would be too hard for us. Okay, next question. Question three, true or false? Only one team can answer this question. True or false? The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would eat food until about half of his stomach was full. Team three, Hiba and Alicia. False. Wonderful, you got the correct answer. He would eat until one third of his stomach was full. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam said, A few mouthfuls should be enough for us, but if we must eat more, then we should fill one third of our stomachs with food, one third with drink, and leave one third for easy breathing. Thanks for sharing the Hadith, Sarsalan. It reminds me of another Hadith, which is, In every matter, moderation is best. It can be easy to overeat, at a buffet or when your favorite meal is made. But now I try to eat in moderation, even though it might be really hard. Okay, round four. Our fourth round is called Creatures of the World. Question one, whether it's through hunting or scavenging, this type of animal eats food that's only from animal tissue or meat. What would they be called? <clears throat> Team one, Masur and Danya. Carnivores? You got it, that's the right answer. Do you know what we call an animal who eats both plants and meat? Yes, Barita, um, it's me. Well, technically yes, Arsenal. But the correct term that I'm looking for is an omnivore. Okay, question two. What animal can fly backwards? Team one, Masur and Danya. Hummingbird. Awesome, you got the correct answer. Hummingbirds are one cool bird. This is a nickel for our non-Canadian little legends. The average weight of a hummingbird is less than this nickel. But a tiny bird like this is capable of traveling alone for up to 500 miles. And they can drink double their weight in nectar in one day. Isn't that so cool? Wow, they can do all that and fly backwards too? SubhanAllah, Allah's creations are so amazing. I don't think I could get anything done if I had to walk backwards all day. I would probably break everything in my life. Okay, last question. Question three. A rabbit's vision covers nearly how many degrees around them? 
Team one, Masur and Danya. One hundred and sixty degrees. Mm, not quite, but that's okay. I'm going to open this question for the other two teams. Team two, Madi and Abir. Is it three hundred and sixty degrees? Uh, I pardon me, I didn't get that. Three hundred and sixty degrees. Nice one. You got the right answer. You get five points since you are the second team that buzzed. That's why I couldn't catch them. So we're at the end of our question rounds, and now we're on to our round called Moving On Up. One partner moves cups, from, moves cups from the top of the stack to the bottom using alternating hands. There will be 15 cups altogether. This must be repeated until the marked cup at the top is moved back to the position it started at the top. Then the second partner will do the same. The first, in, the first team to have both partners complete the challenge wins the points for this round. Remember, if the cups fall down in between, you have to start all over again. <laughs> so make sure to keep it steady. On your mark, get set, move on up! La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Why to get to know Allah? Allah has shown us brightness. The Quran is filled with guidance. Science and faith go hand in hand. See the beauty in God's land. Why to get to know Allah? Start by saying Bismillah. You'll succeed inshallah. Sharing knowledge is the key. Here's a test for you and me. Why to get to know Allah? La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Why to get to know Allah? Allah has Wow, that was really tiring, I bet. Now, here's the score for the challenge. Team 3 finished the fastest for 15 points. Team 2 finished the second fastest for 10 points, and team one finished the third fastest for five points. Amazing effort, guys. Now let's check the school board to see who the winning team is today. The winning team will go on to the semifinals and have a chance to be crowned MTA Little Legends champions. Okay, team three comes in third place with 35 points. And team two comes in second place with 38 points. And team one comes in first place with 55 points. Barakalawlakum! The winner of this game is team one, Masroor and Dania, with 55 points. And a big thank you to teams two and three for amazing effort and participation. So, MTA viewers, that's it for our game today. We hope that you all had as much fun watching us today as we had fun making, us, making this for you. For more fun games and trivia, make your way over to mta.tv forward slash ca. Stay safe, may Allah be with you all, and from us to you, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum! Assalamualaikum! La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Why to get to know Allah? Allah has shown us brightness. The Quran is filled with guidance. Science and faith go hand in hand. See the beauty in God's land. Why to get to know Allah? Start by saying Bismillah. You'll succeed inshallah. Sharing knowledge is the key. Here's a test for you and me. Why to get to know Allah?